Hey everyone, today we are looking at dilations on the coordinate plane and we're going to answer the question, how do I write the rule for the dilation on the coordinate plane? So we're going to do two things. We are going to dilate a figure by multiplying the original coordinates by the scale factor and that will help us get the new coordinates. So if you are given the scale factor, then you multiply to get your new coordinates. On the other side of that, if you are needing to find a scale factor from a dilation, then you're going to divide. You can divide corresponding side lengths if you can count them on the coordinate plane, or you can divide corresponding X or Y values from ordered pairs with the scale factor. And remember, scale factor is found by doing new over original. So you're just going to do new over original to find scale factor like we've been doing. You just need to make sure you are using corresponding side lengths or an X or Y value from corresponding ordered pairs. Okay, once you have the scale factor, then you can write the rule for a dilation on the coordinate plane. And all you're going to do is stick the scale factor in front of X and the scale factor in front of Y. So an example would be like if your scale factor is 2, it would look like 2x, 2y for the rule. And that's because that means multiplication. And remember, to do a dilation, we multiply by the scale factor. Okay, so let's do a few examples. This first one, they want us to dilate this figure right here by a scale factor of 2 thirds. And they want us to tell them if this uh, resulting figure will be smaller, larger, or congruent. So I went ahead and wrote the original coordinates here. A is at 3, 3. B is at 6, 6. And C is at 9, 3. So I need to dilate it by a scale factor of 2 thirds. So what I'm going to do is multiply each number by 2 thirds to get my new coordinate. So to get my new A, I will do 3 times 2 thirds. And 3 times 2 thirds is 2. So this new ordered pair for A is 2, 2. All right, then my original B was at 6, 6. So to find the new B that's dilated by a scale factor of two, I just multiply by two thirds and I get four. So the new B will be at four, four. And then the original C was at nine, three. So I'll do nine times two thirds to find the new X and it's six. And then I already did three times two thirds, that was two. So to get these new coordinates here, all I did was multiply the original coordinates by two thirds. And now I'm ready to plot my new image. Ready to plot my new image. A prime will go at 2, 2. We're going to make sure we label them. My new B or B prime will be at 4, 4. And my new C or C prime will be at 6, 2. So that's how you dilate a figure on the coordinate plane. You just multiply the original coordinates by two thirds. And they asked us, is the resulting figure smaller, larger, or congruent? Well, we can tell it looks smaller. And the reason it was smaller was because the scale factor was less than one. The scale factor of two thirds was less than one. Okay, so that is how you dilate a figure on the coordinate plane. Now we are going to find the scale factor and we are going to write the rule. So remember the scale factor can be found by doing new over original. And then once we have the scale factor, we can write our rule by just sticking the scale factor in front of X and Y. So let's do that on number two. I need to find the scale factor by doing new over original with corresponding parts. Now on this picture, I could count the side lengths if we wanted to, or we can just look at the ordered pairs that are corresponding. 
So I have D prime and D right there. D is at two eight and D prime is at one four. And then I'm going to take, let's just do the X value since they're smaller numbers. So my new X value is one and my original X value was two. So to find the scale factor, I do the new X value, which was one, over the original X value, which was two. And my scale factor is one half. We could have done the same thing with the Y values. Four over eight, that would have simplified to one half as well. The scale factor shows up in a whole bunch of different places. So lots of different ways to do it. However you do it, we get that the scale factor is one half. So our, that means our rule is one half X, one half Y. I just stuck the scale factor in front of X and in front of Y. And that shows that we multiplied by one half to get the new figure. And then last question, is this an enlargement or reduction? This is a reduction. I can see that it got smaller and I know that it got smaller because the scale factor was less than one. Let's look at number three. It says, find the scale factor that was used to dilate trapezoid one to trapezoid two and write a rule to represent the dilation. So one is our original figure, two is our new figure. And instead of using ordered pairs, you can always use corresponding ordered pairs. I'm going to count side lengths this time. So we cannot count the diagonal side lengths on a coordinate plane, but we can count these completely horizontal sides. I just have to make sure the sides that I use are corresponding. So I'm gonna use the top of both of the trapezoids. And on the original one, the side length is one. And on the new one, that corresponding side length is three. So I have my corresponding side lengths. Now I can plug them into scale factor, new over original. And new over original would be three over one, which simplifies to three. So our scale factor is three, and that means our rule is three X, three Y. Since our scale factor was larger than one, and you can see that we got bigger from the original to the new, this is an enlargement. All right, number four, it says, find the scale factor that was used and write a rule to represent this dilation. So the smaller one is my original figure, and the bigger one is my new figure, since that is the one that has the prime symbols. Okay, and none of the sides of these triangles are perfectly horizontal or vertical, so I cannot count them. I need to just use corresponding ordered pairs. We can use any ordered pairs. I'm just gonna use the Y's. So my original Y was at four, negative two, and my Y prime is at six, negative four. Okay, I can choose to use X or Y values to find the scale factor. I just have to make sure I keep it consistent. So I'm gonna use the X values since they're positive, less to worry about. And I find the scale factor by doing new over original. My new, that's the one with the prime symbol, Y or X value that I'm using is six. And the original X value is four. And six over four simplifies to three halves. So our scale factor is three halves, and that means our rule was three halves X, three halves Y. And three halves is bigger than one, so this is an enlargement, and we can also see that that triangle got bigger. Okay, last one, number five. It says, find the scale factor that was used to dilate circle A to circle B and write a rule to represent this dilation. So circle A is the original one and circle B is the new one. So I can already tell that I'm getting smaller and this is gonna be a reduction. So we wanna make sure that our scale factor reflects that. So I need 
original ordered pair and new ordered pair. Since this is circular and curved, I cannot count, um, but I can use the ordered pairs. So I'm gonna use these two corresponding right here. So circle A was the original one and the point from circle A is 0, 10. And then my new circle was circle B and the ordered pair from circle B is 0, 4. Okay, I cannot use zero to find the scale factor because I can't divide by zero. So I'm gonna have to use the Y values here. And I find the scale factor by doing new over original. And the new ordered pair was four. The original ordered pair was 10. Those are both divisible by two. So my reduced scale factor is two fifths. So scale factor was two fifths. That means our rule was 2 fifths x, 2 fifths y. And that scale factor is less than 1, which reflects the reduction that we talked about. So there are lots of different ways to find scale factor. You can count the sides like we did on number 3, or you can just use corresponding parts from ordered pairs like we did on the other ones.